our stepping stone garden creates a way to fight back against all the all the habitat loss. It's a small way of doing something to help drive back the way that the city takes over and makes it uninhabitable for so many animals. So particularly in Cape Town, we have a lot of bird and insect species. And because of the way the stepping stone gardens are set out, means that they can have more places to stop off and get food before flying on to the next one. Here's the piece of land a few years ago before the stepping stone garden was planted. In summer it was just a dusty sand patch. In winter it was full of invasive grasses and plants that were wildlife sterile. Now it's a home for locally indigenous species that are running out of habitat in Cape Town. And why is the stepping stone garden beautiful? Well, it's beautiful to me because it's a little bit tatty. It's somebody once said, in fact, it was community who said, you're not gardening, you're conserving. So we don't have neat little rows of bobbing, colourful flowers. Everything is kind of wild and a bit scruffy. What I find beautiful about our stepping stone garden is the way that it brings back nature into the city. I've been working on the Specplex since June last year. During that time, I've had the opportunity to see different things flowering just through the seasons, seeing the spring flowers come up. I think that's really beautiful. What I love about this garden is that all the plants in it were chosen because they're the type of plants that have grown in this part of the city for hundreds of thousands of years. This garden couldn't happen anywhere else on the planet. The garden is part of a growing network of local gardens that provide highways for pollinators to travel along. One little garden at a time with the right plants in it, in the right place, can bring back nature in all of its splendour. It's been the most wonderful thing to get involved in. Other people have joined us and people have come in and out. It's been great to start first with the one patch, which was so hard and stony and terrible. It looked as if nothing would ever happen there. And now it really is just a garden that looks after itself. And what's really lovely about it is that it's right on very busy Durban Road. So a lot of people pass by and see it. People in the area are starting to comment on it now and say how much they enjoy it and offer help and so on. I love it as well because it's a way of just being involved in the community and I really like our group of gardeners and being involved with them. And it's, it's just lovely to be doing something beautiful. So why should people care? They should care because it's a way of making the city beautiful. It's a way of fighting back against habitat loss in a small way. And in a big way when it becomes a grassroots movement that takes off.